Everybody, this is Zach from Board with Friends, and we are back with another cracking packs for the Transformers TCG War for Cybertron Siege 2, uh, which is the second set of packs from the War for Cybertron line of uh, the trading card game. Still not feeling so hot, um, but I am going to dive into some more. Um, I got my packs, I got my coffee and my ember mug. Uh, awesome little, uh, sorry, not coffee, it's tea. Make me feel a little bit better. Uh, episode is not sponsored by Ember, but if they wanted to, I would not say no. Anyway, we're going to take one, two, three, four, and we'll do five more packs. See how long I can last through these. And we'll see what we get. Last time we got a few mercenaries, the new faction. Um, we got a triple changer and ape face. And we had gotten uh, part of Skytread, uh, if I remember correctly. So we're just going to pop this sucker open and see who it is. All right. And we have... All right. Another one of my favorite characters. They had a lot of cool characters coming in on this set. And uh, I don't know how good the card is, but I love Spinister. He's such a cool guy. And that's who this is. Uh, Spinister, one of the uh, double target masters, if I remember correctly, from the old toy line. He's an 11 star character. Uh, he's 3 attack, 1 defense, and he has 2 weapon slots, which goes perfectly with being a double target master. Um, while this is, has battle master upgrades, this has plus 3 attack, so you absolutely want to put him in a deck built around using battle master cards. Um, it's just fantastic. So um, I, I like the idea of Spinister and that alone. Um, and Spinister is just a cool card. I mean, you look at the guy, he's teal, purple, and pink. He's su super cool colors. And uh, depending on his iter his uh, characterization in the comics or whatever, he's either really, really cool or really, really dumb and cool. Um, but he's awesome. Uh, so we transform him. He gets plus one to his attack, so he's four. Uh, no minus to his defense, and then he still gets his two weapon slots, and when you flip to this mode, one of your battle master characters gets plus three attack till end of turn, so that's awesome. Fantastic uh, combo with him uh, for being, you know, associated with the battle masters. I like seeing those kind of cross, you know, crossing uh, the different uh, factions and things like that, and it just makes for a cool card. And let's see who we got here. It is, oh, neat. So speaking of battle masters and fun ones, uh, so this is part of uh, Sergeant Six Gun. Six Gun, uh, we did see a version of him with the Metroplex deck, but this is the next version of him. Uh, he's going to be kind of like Flywheels, sorry, Skytread. Uh, he's comes in halves, so he would start in his uh, two halves of his robot mode, and then when he's destroyed or knocked out, he splits into two weapon masters, uh, weaponizers. Uh, so this half of him, his top half, becomes the MTX S2A Guided Missile Launcher. I'm never going to say that name out loud again. <clears throat> so if you play this only with the anti-gravity gun, uh, they start the game assembled as Sergeant Six Gun. This can be an armor or utility slot. If this would leave the battlefield, put it into your knockout area instead. It just gives plus three attack, but plus three attack is pretty darn awesome, so not going to complain. Um, I don't get to tell you what the rest of Six Gun does in his, uh, bot, his, in his robot mode, because I don't have it yet, but hopefully we do. There's a lot of split-up characters in this set, from what I can tell. There's Omega Supreme, there's uh, Skytread, um, six gun. I think Brunt is also in this set with a split card. Uh, so that, that's kind of interesting. I like it. Hopefully I don't get only half and never find the others. Let's take a look at the battle cards now. We have Reprocess. This is an action uh, with a green pip. Scrap an upgrade from any character. Repair two damage from that character. Cool. <clears throat> We have Guarded Posture, which we've already seen. It gives minus one, minus, uh, minus one plus two, and it's an orange pip. Uh, stable Cover we saw. I'm going to see a lot of these you know, recurring because these are the commons. 
um, but pretty neat. Um, now we have Heroic Resolve. We haven't seen this one yet. Plus two blue. All right. And it is a secret action. Uh, reveal if one of your Autobots would take enough attack damage to knock it out. When revealed, instead, that character takes enough damage to be at one health, then put this card into your knockout area. It is a one-star uh, secret action card. Wow, that is super powerful, but pretty darn cool. Increased durability. It is a black pip card. The upgraded character has plus four health. Wow. All right, so that's two cards in this set that add to health. Uh, there was the small medic pack. Um, there's another card from the previous set that adds plus four. So we're seeing a lot of those to help increase health. I like that. Involuntary promotion. The fact that it's got Megatron on there, I know this is going to be bad. Uh, or good, depending on how you look at it. Choose one of your characters. Return another character that has the same number of stars or fewer from the knockout area to the battlefield, fully repaired. Move the damage counters and upgrades from the chosen character to the returned character. Then knock out the chosen character. That is interesting. So a way to kind of switch out dead characters for live characters. You don't lose the... the they don't get fully healed, uh, which is probably good. you got to be careful with that, though. Uh, but still, that's, that's pretty darn neat. All right, I like it. And it adds a black pip. I don't know how often I would use this particular card because I'm not as clever to come up with scenarios where this will work, but we'll see. Neat. All right. Now on to the next pack. Let's see who we got here. All right, the other Triple Changer Decepticon in this set, well, the other one that I remember, is Astro Train. Cool. I love the artwork on this one. Astro Train's a cool character. Let's see here. He's a 12-star character. Um, he's 5 attack, 2 defense in his vehicle mode. Well, in his uh, spaceship mode. 14 health. Uh, when this has at least one upgrade and defends, he gets plus one defense until end of turn. I think he's going to be all about upgrades. Yep, he transforms into his train mode. Uh, when this has at least two upgrades and attacks, he gets plus two attack until end of turn. All right. So I'm going to guess his vehicle mode is revealed here. He's six and one. Uh, when this has at least three upgrades and battles, he gets three attack and plus three defense until end of turn. So all about the upgrades with Astro Train. So as to counterpoint with Ape Face, Ape Face was all about how much damage he had on him, and he increased his stats. Uh, Captain Astro Train here, he is all about the upgrades that you put on him. I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. And he's common, so he's going to be easy to find. Neat. So I think that's uh, both the, the Decepticon uh, triple changers in this set. Um, I haven't gotten into the Autobots yet, but... Uh, Blackjack, he is part of the Sports Car Patrol. Um, he's a leader, he's a car. He has stealth uh, while untapped, like all the other MicroMasters. Um, and when one of your Sports Car Patrols becomes untapped, repair one damage from it. That's awesome. All right, cool. So um, he heals the other uh, sports car patrol guys. Neat. Uh, three attack, zero defense. And then when we transform, he's three attack and one defense. Uh, this has plus one attack and plus one defense for each of your sports car patrol in the knockout area. So very much in vain with the other MicroMaster leaders that we saw. He gets boost stats for whoever's in the knockout area. So if you're playing a MicroMaster deck, and now it makes a lot more sense to do it, uh, make sure that you keep your leaders alive because that's how they're going to get boosted. Okay. Or maybe do an involuntary promotion. I don't know. And i uh, got to open up this battle deck here. Got to try to. Come on. Someday. I need fingernails. That's what I need. All right. 
take a look here. Hazardous Shield, we have seen, and I like it. Um, it gives the revenge ability, so you can scrap enemies' armors and weapons when they go down. Uh, hidden Fortification. All right, another secret action. When one of your characters defends, that character gets tough three until end of turn. All right, until end of battle. Neat. That's a cool one, and it's common. Wedge Formation. Uh, wow, oh, look at this. All right, so we got a green, we got a black, and we got an orange. Uh, repair one damage from one of your melee characters. If you have a ranged character on the battlefield, draw a card. If you have a specialist on the battlefield, plan one. So, have a mindful, more, more looking at what the, um, the characteristics of the cards. Not something I've done a lot yet, but I like this that um, it's giving options and also added value to this card. It already has great value with the black and the orange and a green. Um, but if you build a balanced deck with a bunch of different abilities on it, that's going to be great. Uh, Battlefield Incursion, we've seen. Uh, this is going with Trypticon, who we'll take a look at once we get through this box. Um, but it helps you deploy characters from under him. Sabotaged Armaments, we've also seen. Um, this lets you scrap all attackers' weapons when they uh, attack you. Uh, let's see here. And a Toolbox. It's a utility with a green pip. If damage would be repaired... Uh, from the upgraded character, instead repair that much damage plus one. So, repair plus one, basically. Neat. Um, and that's an upgrade, so it's not a one and done kind of thing. Put this on there, and they always get plus one repair whenever they get repaired. I like that. All right. Pack number three for today. Come on. Let's see who we got. Chop Shop. All right. Get all the trash out of the way. Chop Shop. Uh, have we had Chop Shop yet? Yeah, I think he was in Wave 1. Um, he's one of the Insecticons. Deluxe Insecticon, sorry. Uh, Chop Shop here. He's a five, six, seven, uh, seven star character. I can count. Um, I like the cheaper characters. I like, you know, seeing who they come up with for them for, you know, just combos in my decks. Uh, four attack, one defense, 11 health. When you flip to this mode, you may scrap a green card from your hand. If you do, repair one damage from each of your characters. Wow. If the scrap card has no other battle icons, repair one more damage from each of your characters. So, uh, scrap a toolbox. And repair two damage from all of your characters. Oh, that's a, that's a lot. Um, when he transforms, when this attacks and you flip at least one green, repair one damage from this. Wow, that that's pretty cool. All right, I like that. That is a useful support character right there. Dead useful. I'm going to find a way to put him in a deck. That's fantastic. And he's common, so easily got great support character for anybody already can tell he's going to be popular and we have high jump uh off-road patrol let's see here he's got stealth which is normal three and one which is pretty standard for the micromasters and six health what does he do he's got a tap ability scrap a black battle icon card and another card from your hands so you scrap two draw two but one of them has to be a black battle icon okay uh, and he stays three and one. Neat. All right, let's take a look at these. That one popped right open. Head on collision. Let's take a look here. Uh, it's a white pip. Uh, choose one of your characters. It gets plus three attack until while attacking in alt mode this turn okay so only in alt mode so you can't put it on a robot mode medics protective field we've seen that crowbar another one with two pairs when the upgraded character attacks scrap this card from the battlefield so plus two attack so you only get to use it once but that's actually kind of cool, because this is the kind of card I would want to keep cycling through because of that plus two pierce. Erratic Cannon. 
Although we've seen that. Energy transfer, we have seen that. And defensive configuration. The upgraded character has an extra armor slot. This is a utility. Uh, when you put this on a character, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's an armor, play it into the upgraded character. Um, neat. So you give them a bonus armor slot, and you might be able to play an armor when you normally can't play another upgrade. Maybe. All right. Let's see if we can get through this. And who do we got? Barricade. We just saw him on one of the other cards. Barricade. He's a seven star character. Four and two and 12 health. When you flip to this mode, you may play a battle card from under this. Well, that's an indication of what his robot mode is going to be. He's a five and one in robot mode. When this battles and has no battle cards under him, after the battle, put one of your flipped battle cards with, that has no battle icons under this instead. It, or, ah, wow, can't talk here. When this battles and he has no battle cards under him, after the battle, put one of your flipped battle cards that has no battle icons under this instead of into your scrap pile. So you, this is a good value for cards that don't have battle icons. Um, I tend to now stop putting them in my decks because it's annoying to flip them and not get any bonuses. Uh, but if you're playing bar Barricade, you may want to put some in there because he's going to be able to save those cards and then when you transform, you can play them. That's pretty neat. And he's cheap too, so in decent stats, so good another good support character. I like it. And now we have Private Vanguard, another battle master, very obscure. Uh, three attack, one defense, five health. When one of your other characters defends and you flip at least one white, that character can't take more than five attack damage this battle. Neat. All right, and when he gets knocked out, he becomes the anti-ballistic turret helmet. That's just ridiculous sounding. When you put this on a character, do one damage to an, a tapped enemy. If this would leave the battlefield, put it into your knockout area instead, which is normal for battle masters, and it gives plus two defense. Cool. So you instantly damage somebody else, kind of like a revenge uh, for knocking it out. And uh, gives some extra defense. I like it. And let's take a look at these battle cards. Again, I apologize. I'm very sick, so I don't sound as enthusiastic as I am, but these are really cool. Uh, fight for position. Another orange and black. I like that. That's a great combo for a card. One of your characters gets bold two until end of turn. Okay. Kinetic Converter, we've seen. When you flip the upgraded character to another mode, you draw a card. Soldier's Blaster, we've seen. When the upgraded character attacks an enemy of a different faction, the upgraded character gets plus two attack until end of battle. Neat. Swerve, have we seen this one yet? Uh, no, I don't think we have. When one of your characters in bot mode defends, you flip that character to alt mode. So, a good way to transform. Hopefully their stats are better in vehicle mode. Maybe kind of a bait-and-switch thing. Make them think that they're going to get more, less defense or whatever, and flip it. I don't know. New Orders. Uh, it's a black pip card. Oh, this one had white and black. Neat. Untap one of your characters that has six stars or fewer. Good for MicroMaster decks. And a multi-missile pod. This looks like another Trypticon card. Upgrade weapon. Put on planes or helicopters only. Oh no, it's not a Trypticon card. That's Spinister. Never mind. Up to three multi-missile pods can fit in one weapon slot. When the upgraded character attacks, you may scrap this. If you do, do damage to each enemy equal to the number of multi-missile pods scrapped from the upgraded character this battle. Cool. If you do damage... Damage to each enemy. Oh, jeez. Okay. So that could be super cool. 
I like that a lot, actually. Um, yeah, I want that in some of my decks, and it's a blue, so it's some extra defense. Um, yeah, I like that. And in one weapon slot. So if you could get somebody with multiple weapon slots, probably why Spinister's on that picture, because uh, he has two weapon slots, uh, you could have a lot of fun with that. Alrighty then. Last pack. That is a rare card, so I don't think I'll get too, too many of those, but still pretty neat. All right, look at that. We got Skytread Tank Form. So now we can take a look at his whole piece, his whole body. Uh, so Skytread, that's really cool artwork. Uh, three attack, uh, three defense, eight health. And he has the revenge mode where if you have Skytread playing on the battlefield or in your knockout area, you may combine this with, with him into Raider Skytread. If you do, put this card, if you do, put the cards from your hand face down under Raider Skytread. Okay, so now we get to see what that actually does. Um, I won't bother trying to find the top half, but we'll look at the bottom half because it tells us what he does. Uh, so six and three, so he doubles his attack. Um, and but the two of them combined is 12 stars because the other one was six as well. Uh, this begins untapped, uh, has all damage from the combined characters, and keeps one upgrade in each slot. Okay. So, when this attacks, you may put a face-down card from under this into your hand. If you do, move one damage counter from this to the defender. Actually, I am curious. I think I have Skytread over here. Yep. So, that doesn't matter. So, that's 10 and... Eight. So combined, that's 18 health. But if it says if the other one's in the knockout area and one of them's going to get knocked out, that's 18 health. It doesn't say it's going to... When you combine it, you don't heal anything. So, interesting. Uh, I wonder how that's going to work out. I guess they have to say it that way, just in case one or the other is in the knockout area. But one, if one's already in the knockout area, presumably, if one's getting knocked out, you're presumably going to immediately merge them. So I guess that doesn't matter. Uh, it's just weirdly worded when you think about that portion of it. Uh, but I like this. When this attacks, you may put a face down card from under under the hand, and then you can move damage around. So neat. Um, and that's pretty good stats, six and three. And you're going to want to heal him pretty quickly because presumably he'll have at least 10 or 8 damage to start with uh, when you do the combination. Kind of like uh, Blackwing and uh, whoever the other one was. Uh, when I combined them together they were already pretty hurt or any of the combiners really. Uh, Rumble! Let's see here. I'm rambling now. He's 0-0 zero and zero and 11 health, and he has a revenge of do 2 damage to an enemy if you knock him out while he's in his cassette mode. Okay, and when he transforms to robot mode, he's 4-0. Oh. Wow, that's a big bump. And you can tap, return an upgrade on a character, return an upgrade on a character to its owner's hand. Okay, so if something's being pesky, you can take it, bounce it back to their hand. I like that. Not as good as scrapping it, but still pretty cool. Uh, neat. That's Rumble. And then our final pack of battle cards. There's some really cool cards now. Like the, We're going to do a pod, another podcast episode on kind of like the state of the TCG, like an update on how we feel about it. But I have a feeling a lot of things I'm going to say are they've added so many cool cards and really enhance this game since the first wave when we last talked about it. Uh, terrifying Resilience. Orange and black. Yeah, we've seen this one. Tough 2. Really cool card. I'd like several of those. I like it. Another one, Designated Target. Really like that one. It just adds a lot of pierce. Oh, what are you? Kinetic Inter Intensifier Whip. Such a neat name. It's a upgrade weapon. When you flip to the upgraded character to another mode, it gets bold 2 until end of turn. 
And it gives plus one attack. Neat. Dual wield. Uh, gives plus two pierce when you flip it. One of the characters gets an extra weapon slot until end of turn. If that character is a mercenary, you may play a weapon from your scrap pile onto it. Neat. Adaptive plating, we have seen. For an uncommon, I think I've gotten three or four of those now. Relentless Invasion. Well, those are definitely Trypticon characters. All right, so we've got a white, an orange, and a blue pip. If you have Trypticon Assault Base on the battlefield, put Full Tilt, Wipeout, and Brunt from your knockout area onto the battlefield fully repaired. The characters put onto the battlefield in this way attack this turn. At the end of your turn, put each of those characters that's still on the battlefield under Trypticon. Holy crap. That's so cool. All right. I think I remember reading this in one of the previews, and I was impressed then. Wow. All right. It's going to be fun building a Trypticon deck and facing off against Metroplex. All right. So that's five more packs from Siege 2, uh, the Transformers trading card game. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Again, I apologize. I sound like crap. Uh, but... Either way, I hope you enjoyed it. Got to see some new cards, my thoughts on them. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. If you have ideas on how you would build some decks or who you're looking forward to, comment below. Share the video, all those things YouTubers are supposed to say, and I will see you next time.